Hello guys and welcome to yet another commentary video. I hope every one of you managed to pre-order Yakuza 0. If you still haven't, I highly advise you give it a try as soon as you can. Moving on to the odd title of the video, I have seen some people with misconceptions who, for example, think Yakuza 0 doesn't have a countering system in combat, when it clearly does and wears it as a badge of honor. The aim of this video is simply to cover the basics of the combat in Yakuza 0, which can easily be applied to other Yakuza games as well. To give give newcomers a better idea of how the combat works and hopefully get them to enjoy Yakuza's combat further and see just how much it really has to offer. Also just to make this clear, combat in Yakuza 0 or any other Yakuza game is just the tip of the iceberg. These games have a lot to offer besides their compelling stories. There are countless side activities, hilarious sub stories and entertaining mini games you can have a blast with. I mean look at this, picking up a phone has never been so epic. Since this video is intended for newcomers, I will be using footage of the Japanese version that I already have, so that people who get into this game can watch and learn from this video as soon as they can. Without further ado, let's start with the number one tip of Yakuza 0. Use your lock on. Locking on to enemies and especially bosses can help you land attacks much more easier and on that specific enemy. You have to hold R1 to lock on to the chosen enemy. Sometimes you will need to hold R1 for specific moves, such as counters, which we will get to later on in this video. You can choose not to lock on to attack more loosely in case there are multiple enemies. However, without lock on, your quick stepping may become less effective for specific angles, but it could work for crowds. Also, attacking without lock-on allows you to use directional attacks, which basically allow you to change the direction of the rush combo while you're in the midst of it. Directional attacks can be very useful, especially when it comes to crowds. Next up, we have the golden rule. Don't mash square to your victory. This is one of the most basic tips I could give you. Mashing square in a game like Yakuza 0 is one of the biggest things you should avoid. You will look very ungraceful not realizing that you have tens upon tens if not hundreds of moves in your arsenal, especially the more you upgrade Kiryu or Majima, the playable characters. Instead, do what we call rush combos. Think of the square combos as the starter and the finishing blow which you follow up by triangle as the main course. Allow me to demonstrate this more clearly. In this footage, I press square then follow it up by triangle. As you can see, this is already so much more effective than mashing square since it can knock down your opponent. Now, depending Depending on the character and the style, you can press square up to a different amount of times. With Kiryu's brawler style for example, you can press square up to 4 times, giving you the ability to generate 4 rush combos in that specific style. To make it even more clear, take a look at this. This is square triangle as we've just seen, this is square square triangle, triple square triangle, quadruple square triangle. As you can see, following this simple tip, you'll be able to land hits more effectively and look more brutal while you're at it. Now compare between mashing square and the tip I just gave, and you'll see for yourself just how much better the performance and grace are. For the following tip, we have grabs. With circle, your character can grab enemies for a few possible outcomes. For example, tapping square in Kiryu's brawler style while grabbing an enemy with circle will result in this.
or you can press triangle which will do this or you can press circle again to simply throw them. The outcome will likely differ with other styles, for example, throwing an enemy with circle and curious beast style will look like this. You can press L1 to go behind enemies while grabbing them. This is useful for changing the heat action that can be performed while grabbing that enemy. So, you should really experiment with each style and character to see how their moves may differ. For example, here you can see Majima is unable to grab in his slugger style, but he is also unable to grab in his dancer style. Kiryu is also unable to grab in his rush style, and will instead do this kick. Also, try not to spam grabs too much, because the more you do that, the higher the chance enemies will counter it. Especially bosses, or sometimes with bosses when they reach a certain amount of health, they will always counter your grabs. Next up, we have a very vital feature that you should make use of whenever you can. Or, once you get the hang of the gameplay, just use it whenever you want. Heat actions. Heat actions are very powerful and devastating moves that you can pull off with the characters. Once you fill up your heat gauge, your character will glow with an aura. The aura's color changes depending on the fighting style, but that's not what's really important here. You can pull off these heat actions depending on the situation. There are heat actions for almost every situation. Got an enemy grabbed and there's a wall next to you? If you're in heat mode, you can see the heat move prompt above which tells you to press triangle and you'll be able to do this. Got a box of nails in heat mode? Press triangle to see this spectacle. Now keep in mind that all heat action prompts are triangle, provided that you're just in the specific situation that requires doing that heat action. You'll start the game with limited heat actions, but you can unlock so much more through upgrading and training masters, so make sure you get more heat actions to have more tools in your arsenal to use against enemies. There are heat moves that you can only use when you're in second gear, and there are other heat actions that you can only use when you're in third gear, but there are also moves that you can use when you're in both second and third gear. And of course, first gear means you're not in heat mode, therefore your character will not have an aura on them. When buying a heat action, it'll mention whether you need to be in second or third gear for it to work, as seen here. They can be stylish heat actions, they can be gruesome, and they can be completely hilarious. Heat actions are one of the biggest things that distinguish Yakuza from other games. So go crazy with heat actions, unlock them, use them, enjoy them. Before I move on to the next section, there's a very important tip you may want to know. If you want to press triangle to do a move that requires pressing it, such as stomping this enemy, but there is a heat action prompt that will do a heat action instead of letting you stomp the enemy, what you have to do is hold L2 and then any heat action prompt will be gone and you're free to press triangle to stomp the enemy. Also, in Yakuza 0 specifically, finishing off enemies with a heat action will net you more money, therefore you should try using them as much as you can. Now that we're done with the offense tips, let's move on to points that will improve your defense capability in the game. The first point we have in defense tips is blocking. Blocking is a very essential factor when it comes to Yakuza's combat. In every Yakuza game, you hold L1 to block, and trust me, it can save your life on numerous occasions. So block whenever you can, when you feel like you'll be hit, and when you're getting hit as well. Blocking with some styles may work differently than usual. Curious Beast style, for example, will just absorb all hits like a boss, while Rush style will dodge hits while standing still, giving you enough room to dodge away from the enemy, like this. Speaking of dodging, we move on to our next major defense tip. Make sure to use dodging. Dodging is another extremely crucial feature in combat that you must use to avoid incoming attacks. In every Yakuza game, you use X to dodge. Use X with the analog stick to dodge in different directions. Dodging while locking on can be much more useful especially for bosses. 
and as with some previous points it may look different with each style for example dodging in curious brawler style looks like this but dodging in Kiryu's rush style allows you to dodge up to 3 times, making it very useful, especially against fast attackers. So get behind enemies attacks with dodging and attack them. This can be a very useful strategy for not just weak enemies but also bosses. I can't stress enough how much dodging and blocking are important to reduce HP loss in this game. Try to keep them in mind and utilize them whenever you can. Dodging can be more useful than blocking, because with blocking you run the risk of getting your guard broken. However with dodging you may require timing. Speaking of getting your guard broken, there is a reguard ability that you can get, which allows you to guard again right after your guard has been broken. Acquire it if you feel like it'll help you. And lastly, we go to counters. Countering is yet another important part of Yakuza's combat system. I have seen some people before the release of Yakuza 0 saying there should be a countering system in combat to give you a better chance. And it is there. Yakuza's combat is deeper than many people may think at first. I should mention that counters can be very tricky to pull off, so you can consider this a somewhat advanced level tip. Depending on the character and the fighting style, you can acquire different counters that you can use in battles. Let's take a look at one of Kiryu's brawler style counters for example. This one can be acquired easily by buying it from the ability menu. And to pull it off you need to lock onto an enemy with R1 and then press triangle right before an attack lands on you. Now as I said this can be really tricky as it requires a specific timing. Even I have trouble pulling off counters. But try to practice using them because they can really help you in a battle. Also one thing to note is that you're not the only one who has the ability to counter as certain enemies can break your combos by retaliating with an attack of their own. And they may even have hyper armor when retaliating which prevents you from phasing them at that specific counter of theirs. Before I conclude this video, I also want to mention that R2 will allow your character to do a taunt. But be warned that it leaves you open to incoming attacks and it also enrages the weaker enemies. Taunts differ from one fighting style to another. Taunting has no effect at first except badassery. But once you're able to, you can upgrade it to have it increase your heat after a successful attempt to your enemy. So, once you get the hang of the combat, you can make the combat look from this. To something like this. With all these things mentioned, this brings us to the conclusion of the video. Hopefully with all these tips, you start to get the hang of Yakuza Zero's combat basics and understand how it works. So don't forget, lock on, rush combos, grabs, heal actions, blocking, dodging, countering. With these in mind, I'm sure you'll have a much more enjoyable experience with Yakuza 0. With that said, I hope this video has taught you a thing or two. Shout out to Soul of the Rising Sun for assisting me with the making of this video. This is Devilian7 and uh, I am out.